Hello, happy Friday. So I've got a question from a member on YouTube and her question is this. There is this idea that sugar is addictive. I don't know whether it's scientifically proven, but everyone I talk to is concerned that if you eat freely, you'll get hooked on sugar. I've been on um, in the all in diet for months. Sorry, the cat. <laughs> been on the all in diet for eight months. I know this is not true because my cravings have decreased significantly. So I think by that, she means that she's eating without restriction. I think that's what that means. Um, how can I logically counter this argument that sugar is addictive? Right. So oh, there's always an animal doing something, isn't there, when I'm doing a YouTube video? All right. So I actually did a podcast a while ago um, and it will be on my website somewhere. And if you search Tabitha for our podcasts and the title of the podcast was Sugar Addiction, The State of Science. And I interviewed a lady called Maggie Westwater. Yeah, Maggie Westwater. Wow, that's a good memory. I'm looking at it now, actually. But I forgot her name, and then I scrolled down, sorry. So I interviewed somebody called Ma Maggie Westwater, and we talked through this um, study that she did. And I'm going to just read through the abstract and stuff like that. One, because I actually can't remember what we talked about unless I listened to the podcast. And two, because otherwise I'll get something wrong if I just try and tell you what happened. So the purpose, as obesity rates continue to climb, the notion that overconsumption reflects as an underlying food addiction has become increasingly influential. An increasingly popular theory is that sugar acts as an addictive agent, eliciting neurobiological changes similar to those seen in drug addiction. In this paper, we will review the evidence in support of sugar addiction. So... I think we've all probably heard that, right? We've heard people say that sugar's addictive. That's what these studies looking at. Like, is it addictive in the same way other chemicals are addictive? Methods. We reviewed the literature on food and sugar addiction and considered the evidence suggesting the addictiveness of highly processed foods, particularly those with high sugar content. We then examined the addictive potential of sugar by contrasting evidence from the animal and human neuroscience literature on drug and sugar addiction. The results, we find little evidence to support sugar addiction in humans and findings from the animal literature suggest that addiction like behaviours such as binging occur only in the context of intermittent access to sugar. These behaviours likely arise from intermittent access to sweet tasting or highly palatable foods, not the neurochemical effects of sugar. Conclusion. Given the lack of evidence supporting it, we argue against a premature incorporation of sugar addiction into the scientific literature and public policy recommendations. So what this, what she's saying now, what they're saying there is that sugar is not an addictive substance in its own right, as other things are. What they are saying is that what they have observed is that when humans have intermittent access to sugar, and what does that mean? That means when you don't allow yourself to have sugar or you only allow yourself to have sugar at special times, or special occasions, you know, that is what causes binging like behavior on sugar. And so whenever we restrict something, and especially if it is something that, you know, is one of those, the brain's geared to sort of seek sugar and, and things like that. When we restrict those things, the brain just wants it more. And when you have access to that thing, you're going to binge on it because the brain thinks like, well, I don't get this. This is not a resource that's available to me whenever I want it. So therefore, when it's available, I've got to take it, take it, take it, take it. Whereas, as most of us find, and why I go on about unrestricted eating so much, is that when you eat without restriction, yes, there's going to be an initial period where you overconsume that food. You eat a ton of it because your brain's like, woohoo, yay, I can have sugar again. But when your brain works out, oh, I can just have this whenever I want, then it doesn't have to have it all the time. And for the majority of people who actually truly eat without restriction, they find that their consumption of things like sugar goes down and they actually end up consuming less of it, not because they're not allowing themselves to, but because they just don't want to. Because the brain's like, nah, boring something else and so you can look that up um on my website maggie westwater and it's the state of science sugar addiction if you search that on my website the podcast will come up and i think i've referenced that in uh, quite a few of my books as well 
to sort of counter the whole sugar addiction shit that people come up with. It's, you know, like you can't, you can't call something addiction just because it feels like I want this, I want this, I want this. You have to look at what well, actually are there biological mechanisms behind why I want it that's nothing to do with addiction. And could it just be the fact that I'm restricting that food is causing my brain to become preoccupied with it? Hmm, probably. All right, guys, have a good weekend. I'll be back sometime. Maybe the weekend might do an extra video. Depends what the weather's like, though. Do you know what else is a problem for my YouTube career here? is that now that it's winter, it's dark at five o'clock. And then I'm like, right, day's over. Time for just movies in bed. <laughs> and then, so t at the moment, the time is now almost six o'clock. And I'm, I'm here making a YouTube channel because I had a client and then I was like, right, okay, time for pajamas. And I'm like, no, stop it. Come on. This, it's not even six o'clock. You can make a YouTube video. <laughs> so that is, you know, one of the reasons for my decreased youtube video production in the winter is the day's too short guys like i have as soon as it's dark i'm like right that's it it's over <laughs> all right bye